and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And on the same day that the Royal Mail's International Division was held hostage to malicious ransomware, my own tech had a bit of a wobble. I lost some applications and the App Store spoke to me in foreign tongues. Now, I'm not taking this personally, but I do think that this is going to become the norm, not just to me, but to us all. So you've been warned. I also thought that those who were holding Royal Mail to ransom had tried at the end of last year as they did their reconnaissance, or maybe it was just the sheer volume of folk asking where their parcels were and whether Santa was ever going to make an appearance if not at the end of 2022, maybe at the beginning of 2024. Now, Royal Mail is part of the International Distribution Services Company. And after a bit of a wobble this past week, the stock looks resilient, unlike the company's International Postal Division, if there is such a thing. Shareholders, though, remaining on strife closer to home and calling for the head of the chief executive, Simon Thompson, poor Simon Thompson, not to be confused for Simon Thompson of the Investors Chronicle. Here's that Simon Thompson in black and white. So ransomware isn't new, uh, neither are the DDoS attacks, denial of service attacks, many of those we never hear about because they don't break through the firewalls. So it is worth researching the cybersecurity focus companies. Dark Trace is an obvious one, though this company is a bit hectic for my liking. It floated in April 2021. Last September, takeover talks with Toma Bravo came to an end. So it's all a bit clunky. They just need to keep their heads and their minds focused on the core offering and getting new business, which is exactly what new Chief Revenue Officer, ex-VMware executive Dennis Walter, that is what he has been tasked to do. But on the other hand, consolidation is pretty big in this sector and Toma Bravo may make another offer for Dark Trace after the six month cooling off period comes to an end. So let's see if they make another offer for Dark Trace come March 2023, because last year dividend payer Avast was bought by Norton LifeLock and the enlarged group is called Gen. Then there is the longer established Cape Technologies. It focuses on software to help with cybersecurity, such as virtual private networks. Now, this week it's told investors that Proforma adjusted EBITDA is above guidance and revenue is at the upper end of guidance. Not very sexy EBITDA, but positive noises nonetheless. Their full year results are due in March of this year. And as you can see from the stock, it is trying to regain its all time highs reached a year ago. So it's hot in terms of cyber security company consolidation. It is However, cold last night, temperatures were the coldest of 2023. I hope you're warm. I hope you're well. I hope to see you same time next week. Take care.